What's going on everybody? I'm DJ Son with Astralis R6 and in today's video we're going to be over the frag monster, the destroyer, the destructive being that towers over all the siege. Despite whatever nurse Ubisoft may have given her, okay? We're going over the one and only Zofia. So, if you like and enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the Astralis R6 channel. It really help us out. And as usual, be sure to stick around for in-game examples. You know, I'm not just one to let my mouth do the talking. I like to actually let y'all see how it goes down in ranked matches. So at the end of the video, I'm going to be providing real ranked examples of how I use Zofia. And hopefully that will help y'all in the ranked game. So without further ado, let's go and get into the loadout, baby. Yeah. All right. So as usual, you know, we're going to go over the fit. We're going to go over the camos. Look at, look at your boy. Got the TSM skin, you know, red and black is that, that color scheme. You can't go wrong with that one there. So that's what I'm rocking on Zofia. But on the gun, I wish I could actually use this gun, bro, because the TSM skin looks real good on this weapon. But for some reason, when people play operators like crazy a lot or they're high on the graph, Ubisoft is like, you know what? I guess we need to tweak these operators, man. You know, I think we need to give her a little bit of a nerf. And like... <sighs> I don't really know why they be doing that, man. Like, I don't. Zofia's AR didn't really need a nerf. If you ask me, what Stan didn't really need to be taken away. But, you know, that's another topic for later on in the video. So, I don't use this AR anymore because they nerfed it. The recoil is crazy high. I'm already recoilly challenged, if that's a thing. I have a hard enough time, like, controlling recoil as is. So, but now something is like i don't really think they intended to do this but the lmg which is what i use now is crazy good it's like i don't think they know that the lmg might just be better than her assault rifle you know what i'm saying so on the lmg i run a 1.5 scope i run a flash hider as well as like you know i run that on all guns almost all guns in siege if you use a compensator it's not it doesn't really feel as well as a flash hider does if you slap a compensator on your other guns and you go on a flash harder and you like compare the two i guarantee you the flash harder is gonna feel better than the compensator does i used to think because i spray a lot i should slap a compensator on there but that's not necessarily the case flash harders they they feel good on visual in my visual video that's what i run on them i think on twitch i run that as well so like a lot of guns in the game i run a flash harder on so guarantee you try this with the lmg you can't go wrong and it only has one grip on it and that's a vertical grip so that's the only thing you can really run on this one unless you want to be that person that just runs nothing no attachments on their guns a hey, i don't know if that's you but definitely slap a vertical grip on here now when you shoot this lmg right the reason why i say that i don't think they intended to do this is because the lmg has 150 rounds in the clip bro what other gun do you know that has that type of capacity like in all honesty you can literally just run in and i got a few clips to showcase this but you can literally just run in and just hold down click or hold down trigger or whatever you want to call it because you you're not going to have to reload there's literally a whole push that i've done where i did not reload that whole push and we run around it is it's just it's crazy so if they really do this if they really go in depth and see that they haven't done anything to Zofia, the LMG is what people are running and it's even better than the assault rifle. This might get a nerf in all honesty, but this gun right here is no recoil. It doesn't even move, bro. Like you shoot it, you, there's the, almost nothing you have to control in my opinion. Like maybe I'm used to it, so I don't really see the recoil, but I don't think this gun has any recoil at all. So this is what I run primary wise on Zofia she only has one secondary which is the RG15 it has a sight on it already much like Ella's secondary so you don't have to worry about the sights just slap a muzzle brake on there because pistols are single fire anyway and you're good so now to her gadget so you it depends on what you're pushing in order to figure out what you're going to run if I'm pushing like CC on clubhouse and I have to go below and get the stuff Usually I'll run a claymore so I can put it on garage door because a lot of people like to run out garage even though there's been claymores there since the beginning of time on siege so I don't know why people still attempt to run out especially since nomads in the game too some people will air jab it off and people will still attempt to run out so I really don't know what people be thinking about that but if I'm pushing CC and I'm going downstairs to blow the floor and get the bandits or the cages off the wall 
I'm going to run a claymore to put it on garage. Now, if I'm going to say like push kitchen on cafe and I have to get vertical control, I'm running breaches all day because I have to, for one, get the hatches. Maybe nobody has a sledgehammer or anything else to get the hatch on the roof. And then when you get into mining, you're going to have to blow the floor too if you don't have a sledge or a buck. So I run breaches for the sole fact of like, it can be a destructive monster. Like Sophia can be a destructive monster if I do so, but it depends on, again, what are you pushing? So vertical control, if there's something you need to get vertical control and there's no other soft breacher in your comp, you might want to put the breaches on. But if there's an area where you need to watch your flank or stop runouts, like I said, on the garage example, you run the claymore. So this is pretty much my loadout with Sophia. Her operator gadget also has two explosives and two concussions. So like I said, when you're going to blow the floor and get charges off the wall, the explosives are good for that. And when you're going to push an area, you can use the concussions for intel or you can use the concussions for stunning somebody if you were to push what i mean by intel is this right if you shoot a concussion in a room it's gonna explode if somebody's close it's gonna explode way faster than if nobody was in the room so i don't know what exactly the time frame is i think it's like maybe three seconds or something like that i'm not sure but if you shoot the concussion in there and it explodes almost immediately somebody's going to be in the room so that's that's like what you could use for intel gathering now if you want to use it to push somebody and you know where somebody is that's simple you could just shoot it at them they're concussed you could push them and then they're they're at a disadvantage when they take that gunfight against you because they're stunned and their screen is kind of all disoriented so that's what you would use that for but that's it for her loadout i'm going to get into when to use her and what to bring her on her when you use her to push these areas but before we do that, we're going to get into today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Root Insurance. With Root Insurance, you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive. Good drivers can save up to $900 a year with Root. If y'all are like me, y'all love saving money. Who doesn't love extra money? So be sure to download the Root app today and see how much you could be saving with Root. And you could save hundreds, so be sure to get it. And also be sure to grab the Disrupt Gaming skin from the store. It's not going to be there much longer. As meaning if you know by now, Astralis has acquired Disrupt Gaming. So if you want this rare skin, be sure to grab it while you can, because it's going to be gone soon. The skins are available for the R4C or the L8, so go ahead and snatch those up before they disappear. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. So first, let's talk about when you should bring Zofia. In all honesty, you could bring Zofia for any type of push. Like, there are operators in Siege where they're extremely situational, like you can only bring them if you're holding something a certain way, or if you're pushing something a certain way you might need to have operators in or out for those type of pushes. Zofia is literally just an entry, you go in, you kill type of operator. Like you could just go in. Examples of like entry operators are like somebody like a Ash or it's usually like a Ash or a Zofia. Those are pretty much your entry. It could be a buck too, but since he has like, you know, soft destruction, if he's the only one that's like, say if you're pushing something where you need vertical control, you don't really want him to die, but it could be something like that, a sledge or a buck too, but usually it's a uh, Ash or a Zofia. So those are the people that you bring for entry. So if you're pretty much somebody that's aggressive or somebody that has good gun skill or somebody that likes to just push areas, run it down, if that's you, Zofia might be the operator for you to main in all honesty because she has a good gun. Her gadgets provide intel. She has her drones that provide intel as well. She has flank watch with the claymores. Like her kit is literally just you can push and go. Put the claymore down, you can push, you can go. So, in any situation, like I said, you're able to bring her. Now, what you do in these situations, I'm gonna use Clubhouse for an example because that's the best map to use. Maybe Clubhouse and Cafe because those you need vertical control in all honesty. Not so much on Clubhouse because you can destroy the kitchen floor, but usually there's a pulse or something trying to see for you or even a pre place like by a Valkyrie. She might have a cam in there and a pre place C4. You never know. So I don't really like running breaches on kitchen to destroy the floor. So usually I'm the one that's just pushing down blue or something like that with Sophia. So the one that vertical control really is king is pretty much on cafe that's the best map to use so when you're going on cc usually what i do i'll run the claymore i'll go put the claymore on the door i'll drone out stock see if stock is clear lounge bar air bar area bar entrance 
sea of hall that's clear drone blue maybe bottom garage and of course you'll have if you were playing with a good team you're going to have people that's drawn in these areas with you so you can clear it more efficiently you want to make sure somebody's watching red or somebody has a drone somewhere near red to make sure somebody is not going to push you while you're destroying the floor to get stuff off the wall so you push out a stop when you know everything is clear you destroy the floor and then you'll be able to see the cage shards if it's on the wall some people have different cage spots where it might be top red on the wall above the drone hole something like that or it will be like in the bottom in the garage area so there's different cage spots depending on where it's at you'll be able to get it if cage is man you can just throw the explosive at the floor blow the floor it'll get the bandits off the wall bandit can't trick that now because the floor is open he's gonna be worried about that and then your hard breach can get the wall easy now on cafe same thing same type of idea but this time you're gonna run breaches so it's two different ways you can push this right you can push it from either third floor and clear the third floor to the second floor and then start blowing the floor or what i like to do because it saves time i will set up drones like top red and white to see if anybody flanks those areas and then i would just hop in the mining window and start blowing the floor that is if it's clear now if it's not clear you might want to push from a different area like say if somebody's holding mining you don't want to just hop in the window that's an easy pick for somebody so don't do that you if if somebody's holding mining you want to go ahead and clear the third floor to the second floor that's how you should run that you clear the second floor you clear the third floor you drop your breaches down you have vertical control you can shoot the stuff off the wall your hard breacher can then push in bakery if nobody's holding it and then blow the wall and y'all can try to get the plant down easy easy push Zofia makes everything in the game a lot easier especially if you have somebody on it that knows what they're doing the amount of stuff that you can clear the frag the frag potential she has is crazy i know i kind of talk kind of fast but that's pretty much when to bring her or where you can bring her and what to do in those types of situations so i'm not really just one to let my mouth do all the talking i like y'all to actually see what's going on or see how to push these areas so now we're going to get into the in-game examples and i'm going to show y'all how it actually works in a ranked match in my... locked off the window in prep i think it's free i think it might be free it could be free which uh which why you want to get again for bobby i'm going for freezer it's catered so i can't get it okay i'm gonna try no problem got it got it bobby got it all right Oh, I got a drone uh, white out and uh, VIP. Oh, I'm, oh, it's free. It's free. And, and, and. White's clear, Bakery. so it be. No, Mozzie's playing um, brownstairs. Yeah, I think I got my last round. No, Mozzie's playing brownstairs on two ping. Last scene. Last scene. All right. Jason, he's, he's on AFK on two ping. AFK on two ping. I'm going around to Brown. Okay. Shazam. He's not AFK, bro. When I meant AFK, I meant like yeah, nah, 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 I got you. standing still, not. Uh, that's one of our hard breachers. I got him. He's dead. Nice. Yeah. All right, okay. I just need uh, help with uh, this because I can't open it myself. Or I can do this. I can get the freezer hatch. No, I can't. Shit. Okay. Someone above in mining? Okay. Ah! My foot! Yeah, someone's no, frapping right here. They got a frost that way. Or it's Castle who's crapped. There's a bin in all five things. Can you be behind or no? No, no, I can't. Uh, right. Five ping uh, bandit. Five ping bandit. Oh. Bro, bro, I got this, bro. Nice. I'm in, bro. Uh. Hey, Jason, I'm. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Fuck, I'm going in, Bobby. Just proning on trash. Proning trash. Nice. I was, I was like, where is yeah. trash at? Trash is uh, whatever oh, optics always calls it that, yeah.
I got the stuff, you can get it. Jim, missed the shot. Five guys at you. Alright, so hopefully from everything I explained in the in-game examples that I provided, you can actually see that Ubisoft may have nerfed her assault rifle and they might have taken away her with sand, which is a crazy idea in itself. I don't really think that needed to be removed, but despite all of that being done, Zofia is still one of the top operators to bring. Now, I don't know if they're going to nerf her LMG somewhere down the line, but she is still a monster to bring on entry she's still viable the nerfs didn't do anything i know people think it's kind of dumb that they did that to the assault rifle but the lmg honestly to me is actually turning out to be the better gun but that's just my opinion let me know yours so as usual if you liked and enjoyed this video or it helped you out be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the charles r6 channel it'll really help us out and while you're there you know Go ahead and on the channel and see what else we got for you. You know, we always looking to make people better. So see what we got for y'all. You know, do a little siege homework to see if you can get a little bit better. You know, there's always room for improvement for everybody. Trust me, I know. When I started this journey with This World Gaming, which is now Astralis, I was Silver 2. And now, look at me. I'm in Plat now. So there's a lot of stuff that you can use to improve. And we got a lot for you to learn. So go ahead and check it out. But as usual, Astralis, thank you for having me, and I will catch y'all next time. Good luck on your rank games. Everybody have a good day, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.